This is the XT10 off-road caravan. I've been involved in the research and development of these vans since version one. Uh, I've taken them all over Australia and now we've come up with the version five. I've had some great times in these vans and now this one's even more comfortable than the ones I've been using already. When people come into the showroom, one of the first questions they ask, is this gonna support me off-road? Is it gonna get me where I wanna go? The answer is yes. Uh, we've put a lot of development into this. We started with the extremely heavy duty off-road hitch, over-engineered the drawbar, which goes all the way through to the chassis. Then you've got your stone guard here, and behind that, you have your checker plate front, which has a heavy duty paint on it, and that wraps around the sides of the van as well. So any rocks that get flicked up, your van is gonna be safe. Up the front here, you've got your permanently connected gas, which is handy. You just get into camp and crank up the gas. You've got your gas cylinders, jerry cans. They came in handy out in the red center very recently. You can leave this door open with these handy little clips in case it's really hot. Uh, and let your fridge breathe. Try and get your icy poles frozen. Uh, you've got your electrical system in there, all your isolation switches. You've got your inverter, 1000 watt inverter. You've got your DC to DC charger. So 12 volts comes from the Anderson plug on your car. DC to DC charger connects straight to your 100 amp hour batteries. On the side here you have your 240 volt inlet that just connects straight to your battery charger, charges all your batteries. In here you've got storage for all your poles and that sort of thing. Each end has a handy little light in it so you can do that at night. It's great. Don't leave it on all night because the bugs will collect in there and they live in there after that I've noticed. In here you've got your handy little barbecue. Side of the road cook up, snags, that sort of thing. Comes in very handy. Chicken schnitzels. More storage, you can never have enough storage. Plenty of storage there, good for snacks on the run as well. And here you have the holding tank for the chemical toilet. Extremely hygienic, easy to use, no drama at all. Up here you've got your sail track for your outdoor shower light. The outdoor shower, here's all your outdoor shower gear here. You've got your shower head, hot and cold water, very easy. Here's your fillers here. Uh, pressure, pressure water, or you can just fill up your tanks. Uh, and this is the exhaust for the Truma gas hot water system. Works a treat, it's a great little setup. Around the back here, you've got two spares on alloy rims. And check this out. People say, oh, I'm not gonna be able to lift that tire up, but they're perfectly weighted on gas struts. Look, you can do it with one finger. It's perfect. While I'm here, I might as well show you how easy it is to set up the back. So you just pop these two guys here, just like that. Lift it out, undo these clips, pop the side out, other clip, pop the side out. Then we just unclip up here. Same over this side. Slide this guy down. Pull this guy up like this. Clip him up like this. And Bob's your uncle, how easy is that? Here you've got your bubble window, so that actually insulates, double glazed. And then in here you've got your screen, which is good to keep the mozzies and stuff out. But the best bit is this guy, the blind. This fella keeps the sun out so you can sleep in in the morning. Just roll this baby up and it's a blackout, perfect. This is the XT10 stainless steel slide out kitchen. This becomes the hub of your campsite. Everyone congregates around it, I think because it's so easy to use and such a handy thing. You've got your Thetford four burner stove here. I've thrown camp ovens on that. Big hot plates, cook up big brekkies. You've got your sink here with your hot and cold water permanently plumbed in. That's handy. This tap, look at that, that's swanky. Up in here you've got your 12 volt outlets. You can use extra lights or whatever, or a phone charger. This light up here has always been plenty. You've got your storage here, the drawers. You've also got more storage at the back here, which is very handy. This little guy, is perfect for just getting ready for your cooking. Set up that for a servery or anything like that, it's perfect. And watch how easy this is to put away. Check this out for a good feature. If you're stuck on the side of the road and you want to have lunch and you want a bit of shade, just flick the switch, out she comes. This is one of the most important areas, I think, is this where you keep everything cold. 
Uh, everyone was getting into this every five seconds when we were out in the desert. A very popular area. So you can fit up to an 80 litre fridge on here, plus it holds it very well. You've got a handy little light up in there so you can see what's in the fridge. Easy to get to, easy to access, access it on the side of the road, whatever you need to do. The biggest point of difference with this van and the rest of the caravans around is a lot of them made out of timber still these days. This guy's not. This guy's tough as nails. You're going to be able to take it anywhere and it's going to stand up to it. So I've told you about the tough exterior. Let's go inside and check out the luxuries on the interior. One of the first things you need to do when you come inside is pop the top. You need a bit of headroom. It's as easy as that. The thing that's really helpful on the road is somewhere to store your groceries where they're not going to get banged around. In here is perfect. You've got lighting so you can see what you've got. You've got another one here, top and bottom. Under here, you have a little hidden sink, hot and cold water. I love getting out of bed, being able to brush my teeth. It's fantastic. Plus you can keep stuff in there. You've got your shower and toilet in here. Up here you've got a flat area for a TV, your deodorant can, whatever. In here storage for all your clothes and stuff. And look at this. You've got a little adjustable table and a leather seat. Here you can sit down, kick back, have a cold beer at the end of the day and read about where you're going to head next. Tasmania summer, right eh? I'm off to Tasmania in the summer. So this is one of the options of the interior for the XT10. If you've got a couple of whippersnappers, the other option might be more viable for you. In this setup, you lose your shower and toilet, but you have your top and bottom bunks. This table here transforms into a bunk, and this top one here folds up to give you extra headroom. But don't forget, You've still got your hot and cold shower outside, so you don't lose the shower essentially, you still have one. This is your full wrap around bat wing awning. It's 16 ounce canvas, tight weave, you've got your mozzie mesh here, keep all the bodies out. It's perfect if you're staying for a couple of weeks. It's an optional extra, but I reckon it's worth putting on because you're going to use it. Let's go inside and have a look. Wow, have a look at all the room in here. I'd usually get rid of this table and maybe throw a swag down for the kids. Look at this heavy duty poly floor, it's wonderful. And it goes all the way around the sides, keep all the midges out. The best thing about this option, I think, is the shade when it's hot. And if it starts raining, you just close the whole thing up and you're gonna be dry. When I'm out and about on the tracks of the XT10, it draws a lot of interest. So I did this today to answer a few of your questions. If you have any more, call the 1300 number or drop into one of our showrooms around Australia. So get out there and escape with confidence.